Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this video, we'll look at the report badges from the fastreport.net demo. It demonstrates how you can create a multi-column report. So, let's look at the template. As the name suggests, this report is made to print the badges for a number of people from the database. And to use the space more efficiently, those badges are printed in two columns. One badge consists of a logo, two text objects to display employee's name and title, and a QR code object and also an empty text object that is used as a background. So, as you can see, the design space is reduced to half of its usual size. This is because this report is multi-column, in this case two columns. The gray space is used to place other columns. And the more columns are in your report, the less design space will be available. So, not all kinds of bands support being multi-column. For example, title or footer of the page or of the report are supposed to be printed once. Then, there are bands that can be used with columns, specifically column header and column footer. And in a page, those bands work like this. First, page header, then a header for every column, then the bands that form several columns, column footers and then the page footer. There are two ways to set up the columns. First one is demonstrated in this report, page-wise setting. In this case, all of the bands on a specific page will be switched to multi-column if they support it. If you use the page-wise column setting, the columns are always printed in a set order, that was shown in the picture, down then across. Let's look at the page's properties. And here are the column settings. The main property is column count, and when you change it, the others will be calculated automatically. Let's change the columns to the default one and look at our second way of setting up columns. Which is setting the columns for separate bands. And if you're using this option, the print order can be changed. It can be either down then across or across then down, and here is how those modes work. So, let's look at the column options in action. Let's add an empty page and delete this one. We will make a small band and place employee's name and ID on it. And also sort the employees, so their IDs are in order. Let's set the column count to 3. The default layout is across then down. So bands are arranged from left to right until the row is filled, and then a new row begins. And in down and across layout, the order is different. In this layout a column gets filled with bands, and then a new column begins. The amount of rows is calculated automatically, but we can set a minimum amount of rows in a column. So let's set it to 4. And now, as you can see, there are at least 4 bands in a column. This was today's lesson on fastreport.net. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel.